The British Navy has always been the main embodiment of British power, its long, glorious, and successful history has been embodied ever since it was established in 1546. Its naval might have been shown in every corner of the world from crushing the Spanish Armada in the English Channel until destroying the French off the coast of Egypt. Its navy is vital for the success of British history and the eventual spread of colonialism of the European powers. Having a powerful fleet was a necessity to safeguard an empire which the sun never sets. By the end of World War I it's been fully realized that another naval arms race would be disastrous for its participants as shown in the Anglo-German naval arms race demonstrated before the outbreak of the First World War. Thus the major major naval powers at the time gathered together and agreed to limit themselves to prevent a ruinous naval arms race, which then became the Washington Naval Treaty, what follows after was the First and Second London Naval Treaties. As the 1930s began the British Admiralty needed a replacement for their aging battleships, the Queen Elizabeth and especially the Royal Sovereign class was a relic of the World War I era battleships, while the Queen Elizabeth class has undergo a refit in hopes to modernize and make it capable for modern warfare, the Royal Sovereign class was to say the least had a slower refitting program. Thus the British Admiralty sought after to build one from scratch and came up with the unique Nelson-class battleship but due to treaty restrictions it had to sacrifice its speed to be under the treaty limit of 35,000 tons, which the Nelson reached roughly 33k tons, two Nelson-class was built the Nelson and Rodney however the Admiralty was still unpleased, while it was equipped with the powerful 16-inch guns the Nelson had its setbacks at first and its unpleasing unusual look made it some kind of a joke of a treaty battleship. Thus a more conventional battleship was planned, the King George V class battleship. Unlike Nelson, the KGV class were to be built to the treaty limit of 35 K tons and 14 inch guns however upon completion the weight of the ship went a bit over the treaty limit due to additions and modifications during construction of the ships. As mentioned before the KGV was more conventional than the Nelson with a greater area of armored side and less protection to the main guns as it was not concentrated on the front and a significantly better SHP due to improvements of machinery over the years. The KGV class was fitted with 14-inch main guns compared to Nelson's 16-inch guns with both having maximum 40-degree elevation. The KGV class was fitted with 5.25-inch dual-purpose anti-destroyer and heavy anti-air guns which had a 70-degree elevation divided between each side of the ship with 4x2 each. Armor-wise the KGV was protected with 15-inch to 4.5-inch in the belt, 12-inch to 4-inch in the bulkheads, 13-inch to 11-inch in its barbettes. Its main armaments was protected by various protections ranging from 13 inch to 6 inch while her secondary armaments was protected by 2 and 1 inch armor. 6 inch armor was present on the deck above the magazine while 5 inch was present everywhere else. During construction several splinter protection armor was added mostly 1 and a half inch near the main and secondary armaments. Five ships of her class was built, King George V. Prince of Wales, Duke of York, Anson, and Howe, was completed between December 1940 and August 1942. Mid and late war modifications was made, the aircraft catapult was removed from the surviving ships in 1943 to 1945, the eight-barreled pom-poms was increased to six from the previous four and prior to the end of the war each had eight octopal-barreled pom-poms each. While the 14-inch was more conventional and was part of treaty restrictions, it was a hassle when used against ships with bigger armaments perfectly demonstrated when Prince of Wales and King George V engaged the Bismarck which is equipped with 15-inch main armaments. The 5.25-inch secondary armaments was ineffective most of the time, 
it failed to protect Prince of Wales from Japanese planes due to problems of it being too cramped and too slow firing to be a good anti-air weapons. The armor protection of the KGV was never truly tested other than several hits from the Bismarck sustained by Prince of Wales, a 15-inch shell from the Bismarck was able to dangerously land near some vital areas of the Prince of Wales but luckily for her, it failed to detonate. However it is interesting to note that while Prince of Wales sustained several 15-inch projectiles she failed to sustain one Japanese 330-pound bomb that disabled her propellers and due to poor damage control the turbines wasn't stopped immediately which resulted in preventable flooding, but even then a likely three Japanese torpedoes would still doom her fate. The British Admiralty have always wanted a more conventional battleship with 16-inch guns, however due to treaty restrictions they couldn't, but they were quite close to building one. There has been a solid plan to build a battleship with 16-inch main armaments now that the escalator clause was permitted where it increased the treaty restrictions which put maximum weight of a ship to be 45,000 tons instead of 35,000 tons and also allowed the use of 16-inch armaments. It's also important to note that Britain was quite late to realize that Japan, Germany, and even the Soviet Union had already planned or lay down a battleship that would exceed 60,000 tons and larger armaments. The proposed battleship was the Lion-class battleship, design-wise it is nearly identical to the King George V class just with 16-inch main armaments and other minor changes. While the Nelson class was equipped with 16-inch guns the 16-inch guns that were to be used by the Lion class was different as they were designed to fire heavier shells. Its armor was a uniform 15-inch protection with 5.5 on some parts, main turrets would have 15-inch to 6-inch protection, everything else is as the same as the KGV class. Ships of her class was to be named Lion, Temer Air, Conqueror, and Thunderer. The first two Lion class was laid down in 1939 but was quickly suspended and cancelled due to other wartime needs. But a 1945 program plan to restart the construction of the Lion class by 1946 and was predicted to be finished in 1952 with an updated design. The updated design would be heavier and with an updated arsenal of anti-air weapons which consists of 4.5-inch quick-firing Mark V anti-air and sextuple Beauforts, the plan was cancelled due to the economic situation of post-war Britain. Thus concludes the second to last battleships of Britain and a proposed variant of her. Every King George V-class battleship would be scrapped in 1957 with the exception of Prince of Wales as she was sunk in December 1941. Thank you for watching this video about some British battleships I personally like. Next project might be a continuation of this which probably would focuses on Vanguard or something else. Anyways have a great day, bye.